Fracking is a drilling method that allows us to get oil that previously we could not get out of the ground, or at least we could not get out of the ground the traditional way, which is where you just stick a pipe in the ground and suck it out. Right? There's this big oil well deep down, which stick a pipe in there and whoosh, that's it, right? That's easy. This is uh, a little more complicated. So what they do is they dig a pipe and it can go one to two miles into the ground, which is crazy. And then it takes a whoosh, 90 degree turn sideways, starts going horizontal. And it, it goes through this layer of shale that has oil stuck in the rocks. There's holes in the pipes. And the first thing they do is they shoot this uh, fluid down into the pipes. And the fluid comes out the holes into the rocks. And it separates the rocks. It creates these cracks, these uh, fractures, if you will. Fracking, fractures, these cracks in the rock. And that... Uh, allows the oil to seep out of the rocks and then back into the pipes and then up the pipe and then voila, we have oil. Uh, now, one interesting thing about this is in this fluid, the fluid's mostly water, water, a couple chemicals, and sand. So the sand props the rocks open so that more oil can keep flowing out of the shale. They're called pr uh, propens. It's sand. The sand that's used in the fracking concoction comes from ding, Wisconsin. So we'll see if the GOP can make the case that while the fracking is taking, most, taking place mostly in Pennsylvania, it happens in a bunch of states too, but Pennsylvania is the big one, big relevant one here, uh, there's a direct benefit to Wisconsin as well, or a direct harm if we transition away from fossil fuels. Now, the reason people are concerned about fracking is because they're ignorant fools. No, that's not helpful. They're concerned about contaminating the uh, water tape, groundwater. Can you guys throw that, that, that one you just showed up again? Okay, so look at this cartoon graphic. Ooh, look at that. See, the fracking just below the water table. Now, this is a good little lesson on not being uh, distracted by uh, propaganda. Throw up the next cartoon graphic since we're just throwing up cartoons. That's much more accurate. The fracking layer is not even close to the water table. Sorry, guys, go back to the last one. So this cartoon makes it look like the fracking is like just below your well water. It's not. Your well water is like 20 feet below the surface. You can dig with a shovel and get to the water, right? Fracking is, sorry, now the other one. Fracking is one to two miles, miles below the surface. There hasn't been, in every state that, this, that there's fracking, there has not been a single state regulation agency, not one, that has found a single instance of contaminating groundwater from fracking. Wrap your head around that one. All this worry about fracking and groundwater, not one time has fracking contaminated groundwater ever. Not once. They're saying, oh, well, sorry, that's because we've only been, you know, we only have maybe, I don't know, like 20 fracking wells because it needs to be regu it's regulated. We need to be regulated more and banned because there are 1.2 million fracking wells have been dug. And 1.2 million, and not one of them has contaminated the groundwater. 30% of our oil today in America comes from fracking, and 95% of new wells are fracking wells. And it's an 80 year old technology. Wow. That was deep and insightful. I want more of that. Like, subscribe, get more.